We really wanted to be something different. We didn't want to be just another cafe. If we could build something that was natural and really organic where people could enjoy themselves, that would be an amazing thing to be a part of. We decided to try and make our dream a reality. <laughs> I threw away a job as a knitwear designer to have a go at this. So, it was do it or don't. We wanted to work for ourselves and open our own business, which allowed us to be creative. The first thing I searched for was local companies that could help strip back the unnecessary stuff. We were inspired by the movement towards minimalism to make it as natural and organic as possible. Our aim was to maintain the integrity of the local neighbourhood. With my artistic background, we chose to, to strip back the walls to reveal the natural brickwork. Then challenge ourselves to, I guess, take it a step further. It was about that time we had our light bulb moment when we reflected on our own experiences in cafes. What we realised was that everyone always wants something slightly different. Their own styles, their own tastes, you know, so why not allow them to bring their own? From that point, things really started to take off. We quickly found the perfect premises, and that premises was Dalston. We wanted to be the world's first borderless cafe. We realised our passion wasn't in the, in, the, in the making or serving of, of the food or coffee. Our passion was social entrepreneurship fused with cultural currency. So our friends at Appfors, they designed the app for us in no time. And now we're getting over a hundred bookings a day all over Dalston. So welcome to London Fields. These benches were provided by Hackney Council. We decided to be social entrepreneurs because no one likes business people. We had a dream to start Dalston's first borderless cafe where anyone can pay to book a park bench online with no fuss and bring any coffee they want. I just hope that the, the, the things that the, the people have learned and the memories they've got will, will, will last forever. <laughs>